guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Wobble Cargo Thomas. And you can see here the packaging is actually new in terms of how it's designed. And you can see they have a little space in there so you can actually see the cargo wobble in the packaging. Uh, one thing that this box is missing is that plastic outer shell, that little window that covers the engine, but it's still still in plastic from the cardboard. Here's the back of the box. You can see Thomas with those falling crate cargo. Very cool. Here's the other side, which is basically the same. And here's the top and the bottom. That great Thomas barcode there. And then of course, all the legal stuff. But now let's take a look at this pack out of the box. And boy, is this pack fun. So the first thing is this awesome uh, model of Thomas. And you can see he has this fun printing with the squirrels. There, you know, they have the acorns stacked up. And of course, all the little boxes and crates. You can see my printing is actually a little bit too low. So it should have been up just a little bit. Um, still a very cool design. Very cute design, too. And then here's the front. We can see Thomas has this awesome shock expression. It just looks so epic and so cool. Here's the other side. You can see, again, a squirrel there. Some acorns, different boxes and packages stacked up on Thomas's side. Next, here's the back of the engine, which is kind of plain, but that's alright. Here's the top of the engine. And the bottom. Alright, now let's take a look at the main attraction of this pack, the cargo car and the freight on top of it. And you can see as you roll, or you can see the wheels there, but as you roll this uh, flat car around, you can see that actually wobbles and makes it look like it's going to fall off. And I think that's such a cool touch. Absolutely awesome. And I can't wait to add more of these to my layout. Now, the cargo on top is supposed to be rail ties. You can see how they fit in there. We'll take a closer look at that cargo in just a moment. But you can see it just fits in that little space there on the top of the car. Here's a look at the front of the car, the other side, which is basically the same. The back. And the top. And you can see that space there where the cargo would fit down inside. They also have great plank detailing on the top, too. Here's the bottom. And then here is the other car. And you can see it's basically the exact same car. The only difference is the cargo that's on top. But again, you can see how the cargo wobbles there, or wobbles there, I should say. Very, very cool. Here's the front of the car. Here's the other side. And the back. Finally, here's the top of the car and the bottom. All right, now let's take a look at the cargo pieces. And you can see here, they have some great details. This is supposed to be rail ties stacked up on top of each other. You can see how they're built. So you can stack them all together. You can mix and match them how you want. You can see the crate detailing on the ones on the left. Oh no, it's just a really, really cool piece. And I really am excited about adding more of these into my collection. You can see the top there, how they look. Now they would stack on top of each other and there's the bottom. All right, what's really cool about this pack is you can even take and stack multiple together. So you can see here how they all wiggle back and forth as you roll along, which I think is a cool touch, but you can all stack them all on top of each other. It just makes for some really crazy fun, and you can actually make the car fall over from all the from all the cargo on top. And I'll be honest, I had a lot of fun doing this. I did it multiple times during the review and even after the review. Uh, it really surprised me how much I like this pack. Very, very cool there. Now you can see if you're a little bit less, you know, aggressive, um, but if you're more aggressive, you can just make them all topple over. But I think that this is great for younger engineers as well as older fans. All right, so all in all, what are my thoughts on this pack? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I absolutely adore this pack. Um, it reminded me a lot of the Wobble Cargo Thomas that they had made before, um, where it was the, it was more for like my first Thomas type of thing. And you had all these different cargo pieces that worked in conjunction. And I want them to do that with this. You already have a great system go ahead and make some other cargo pieces that can stack on top of each other and just see how tall you can get this cargo going. Is it the most realistic? No. But I think it's a really fun touch and it just adds some movement to the layout and just something kind of zany and crazy. And I definitely want to adapt these to more of a classic series looking thing so I can have them run on my regular layout. But all in all, I highly recommend this pack. I know I'm probably going to be buying a, a lot more of this pack just to have the cargo car pieces and then the cargo car itself. And then who knows, maybe I'll even make some custom cargo pieces in the future. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.